Thai history in general goes way back. Um, lots of different kingdoms in Thailand. And I think the whole area kind of used to be in commotion, like different, for example, Burma would rule over parts of it, and then Cambodia and Thailand were all kind of a bunch of different kingdoms, and they'd fight a lot and try and take each other over. Um, so Thailand has kind of ancient capitals in places like Sukho, Thai, and Ayutthaya, which if you go to both of them, there's tons of just like ancient ruins, big temples, big buildings, kind of the palaces that were run over after, you know, when they were conquered. Um, they're still there. Lots of fun. Um, the current king is the ninth king since the kind of the monarchy has moved the capital to Bangkok. So he's the ninth king. Um, they love him. They love their king. I think there's a lot of different problems in Thailand, you know, government, different things. But the king is kind of the guy that, uh, he's, he's like the bigger man, I guess you could say. He settles the people down. He makes everything all right. Um, and he's just a great man. He's really smart. So he's, I think he built like a dam or two and different things to help Bangkok kind of thrive in surrounding area. He, the poor, I think the poor class of society just love him because he's tried to make lots of different projects um, and help, help those people. And he's just a really kind person. So you'll see depictions of him everywhere. Like everybody in their house has a big picture of the king and the queen. And I remember some cities, if you like drive past a school, maybe a hundred yards long and the school wall, every five feet is a different picture, like different painting of the king. They just love their king. Um, and he's done a lot of good for their country. I think the other notable king was the fourth king. And if you look him up, he's usually like without a shirt and he has a big mustache. And <laughs> he's, he's known because he lived in Europe for a while um, a long time before he was a king. And then when he came back and became the king, he brought a lot of the Western, um, like, I don't know how to say it, technology, I guess, like transportation, it's, I guess infrastructure is the word I'm looking for. He's the one that kind of built Bangkok um, and Thailand into a bigger modern city. Gave him a lot of what they have. So they love him too.